Welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the open search description to make it so that you can add any search engine right to your browser. So, for example, if you go on Google, you can click this little more button and click add search engine. And then, if you go into your settings, right here, preferences, and you click on search, you can set it to your default search engine. So, right here, I have set up a very simple search engine using Google Custom Search and I'm going to show you how to add open search description to your page so that you can click on add search engine right down here. Alright, let's get started. over to the place where you're storing all the files that are part of your website. I'm using GitHub Pages, so here's my GitHub repository, and you're going to want to make a new file. And you can title it whatever you want as long as it ends in .xml. So I'm going to call mine OSD Lab. I'm going to call it OSD for Open Search Description .xml. Okay, now inside of this, you're going to want to open a tag. It's going to say, open with a capital O, search with a capital S, description with a capital D, space, XML NS equals, and in quotes, HTTP colon slash slash, a9, 9 the number, not the word, dot com, slash, dash, slash, spec, without the K, slash, open search, slash, 1.1, one point, uh, one point one slash, close quotes. Then, on the next line, tabulate all the way over to here where it says XMLNS and type XMLNS colon Mose for Mozilla so that it works with Firefox equals colon HTTP one slash slash www.mozilla.org slash 2006 slash browser whoa 2006 slash browser slash search slash close quotes and do the greater than sign to close up the tag you don't have to do this slashy thing all right now on the next slide open a new tag called short name with a capital S in short and N in name. Short name. Okay. And I'm going to call it search. And then close that short name tag. Short name. Alright. Now on the next line, make a tag called description with a capital D. Description and inside, just put whatever. I'm gonna put see what appears on the interwebs. Alright, and close up that description tag. Slash description. Oh, and remember to capitalize. Description. There we go. On the next line, open a tag called input encoding. Input with a capital I. Input. Input. Encoding with a capital E. Encoding. And type 
utf dash eight just because that's what Google CSC uses and that's probably what your search engine uses. If it doesn't, put whatever encoding it uses instead. Close up that tag slash input encoding. All right. Now, you're going to want to have an icon ready. Any icon will do, really. It has to be a PNG or .ICO. So, go make your icon! Alright, now that I have my icon, open an image tag with a capital I. Image and width equals, and type in the width of your icon. Let's find out the width of my icon. It's 200. Width equals, and in quotes, 200, because it's minus 200 pixels wide. Type in whatever your width is. And height equals, and in quotes, again, type in your height. I'm going to type in 200, because my image is 200 pixels tall. And then type type equals, and in quotes, image image slash png or if yours isn't a png look up its image slash thing to find out what what to put in there ah. then close those quotes and inside the tag paste in the link to your image okay slash image just close up all right, close up that image tag. Image. All right, on the next line, you're going to want to type URL with capital U. Type equals and in quotes text slash HTML. Close quotes. Method equals and in quotes get, because that's the method, template equals, and in quotes, paste in the link to your search engine, so here's mine, copy that link, template equals, paste that in, and then at the end of it, you're going to add a question mark, and then, depending on what your URL looks like after you search, you might do Q, or you might do something else. For Google CSE, it's always question mark Q, but the, the query value could be something else, so make sure to check that. Equals, open curly braces, type search terms with a capital T close those curly braces close those quotes and then slash greater than sign to close the tag and now open another tag called moz moz colon search form search form with a capital S and F and then again paste in that link and this time don't add the Q or anything just close that MOZ colon search form tag and finally close your open search description tag like so slash open with a capital O search with a capital S description with capital D all right now scroll down and save your new file all right but we're not done yet there's one more thing we got to do 
pop over to the page the page where you want the link to go so that when you go to that page you can you know add the search and then at the top right under the doc type tag open a link tag link rel equals and in quotes search close quotes and then next type equals and in quotes application slash open search description plus XML close quotes and finally href equals and in quotes paste in the link to the file that you just created and there is a mistake in the first file which we can correct in a second but first just copy that link and paste it into that href close the quotes and finally at the very end put title equals and the name of your search engine so search all right and do the greater than sign to end that you don't need to close the tag because it's a link tag and save your changes now we're gonna go back to the XML file that we created because my computer is telling me when I opened it there is a mistake because XML is super annoying that way well it looks like at the very top there is the word slash browse w which we will just delete so that it says open search description and save those changes all right now those mistakes should be gone let's just refresh the page to make sure they're all gone okay so the problem is that up here at the top i spelled description wrong I spelled it description add the r and add the r at the bottom that is another issue and continue refreshing this page until everything looks correct. All right, everything appears to be correct. Now let's go back. Oh, and the reason it's not working is because I spelled application wrong in our search, our actual search results page. As you can see, there is no A. So, application. Man, I'm bad at spelling today. All right. Now let's continue to reload this page until application is spelled correctly. All right, now application is spelled correctly. Click on the three dots, and look at that! Add search engine, yay! The icon seems to not have worked, and I'm not sure why, but search engine added, yay! Now, if we go down over to settings, click on search, I can switch my default search engine to search. Look at that, it's even got the little icon. And now, if I pop up a new tab and start typing, what should I search for? I'm gonna search for bagels. Bagels. And look at that! It works! So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. Ooh. And remember, it's all in your head.